Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem 1-59. So the statement is that the jib crane is pin at A and supports a chain hoist that can travel along the bottom flange of the beam. So you can see this is a jib crane and this is the hoist and that travel along the web uh, flange of the beam. It is given that x is greater than 1 feet and equal to and less or equal to 12 feet. So the, the hoist can be located at x is equal to or greater than 1 feet and less or equal to 12 feet. If the hoist is rated to support a maximum of 1500 pound, determine the average normal stress at in the 3 over 4 inch diameter tie rod BC. So this is the tie rod BC having diameter 3 by 4 inch and the maximum average shear stress in 5 by 8 inch diameter pin at B. So at B this is the pin, this is pin. Um, uh, top U is given over here so you have to find the average uh, sharing stress in this pin. So let move and solve this problem. So for, for, uh, for solving this problem I have to draw the free wire diagram of this portion AC. So this is AC clear. This is point A. This is point C clear. At C there is a uh, load that will be acting like this and this will be equal to BC or TBC because this is tie rod and th there will be a force in this TBC. Clear? Due to this hoist there will be a load of 5, 1500 pound that will be acting downward. So this will be 1500 pound. It is again given. I will show you. This is a 1500 pound and that is acting at a distance of x from this point A. Clear? At point A there is a pin support so definitely there will be uh, two forces. One will be along x direction and that will be along x direction. This is Ax. The second one will be like this. This will be equal to a y and this is point A. The angle given over here is 30 degree clear. So what uh, you have to do is that you have to apply the equilibrium condition in order to find the uh, this TBC. The total length of this beam is given as 10 feet. So from this point till this point C the distance is equal to 10 feet. So let's start and apply the equilibrium condition. So I will apply the equilibrium condition that sum of all movement about point A is equal to 0 taking counterclockwise movement is positive. So here you can see two forces that are responsible for producing movement about point A. One is this force 1500 pound and the second one is the vertical component of TBC. So it will have two component TBC have two component one will be in this direction another one will be in the vertical direction. So this is TB, TBC Y and this will be equal to TBC X. The force which is producing movement is TBC Y and this TBC Y will be equal to from trigonometric ratio this is the TBC Y and this TBC Y is equal to TBC sine of 30 degree. Clear? So applying equilibrium condition you can see 1500 pound force that is producing movement about point A and the perpendicular distance is x. Since it is producing negative uh, clockwise movement so it will be negative. The second force which is producing movement is TBC sine of 30 and it is producing counter clockwise so it will be positive. So plus TBC into sine of 30 degree and perpendicular distance is 10 feet. So it multiplied by 10. Their sum must be equal to 0. So again you will get TBC is equal to 1500 multiplied by x divided by 10 sine of 30 degree. As TBC depends on x 
and it is given that x is greater than or equal to 1 and less or equal to 12 feet. So obviously TBC will be greater, TBC will be maximum, maximum at x is equal to 12 feet. So when you put x is equal to 12 feet for x is equal to I will write for x is equal to 12 feet TBC will be equal to maximum and that will be equal to 3600 pound. Now you have the stress in this rod clear this rod BC clear uh, force in this rod which is TBC and this TBC is equal to 3600 Pound. So you can find the stress in this TBC. So stress in this rod sigma BC uh, or sigma is equal to uh, force per unit area. So this force is TBC divided by area of this BC. So this force is equal to 3600 pound clear and the diameter of rod BC is 3 by 4 clear. So as we know that area of rod is equal to pi by 4 and D is 3 by 4 inch which is 0 0.75. So 0 0.75 whole square. So it will give you the stress, normal stress in this rod which will be equal to 8.15 KSI. So stress in BC, rod BC is 8.15 KSI. Now we will find the uh, sharing stress in this pin B for that I will draw this pin so you can see the the sharing force of the pin will be like this is V and this is V again this is the pin this is the pin so share and this force which is 3600 pound that is acting over here so Again from equilibrium condition you can find this V and this V will be equal to 36 by 2 which is equal to 1800 pound. So 1800 pound on this side and this side will bring this in equilibrium. So V is this. Now we know that sharing stress is equal to sharing force divided by sharing area. So sharing force V is equal to 1800 pound. and sharing area of this pin since pin is circular having diameter given as 5 by 8 inch so it will be equal to pi by 4 into 5 by 8 pi by 4 pi by 8 whole square so when you solve this you will get the sharing stress in this pin will be equal to 5.87 ksi so i will conclude that we have been asked to find the normal stress in this rod BC and the sharing stress in this pin that is given at point B. So this was normal stress clear in rod BC and this is the sharing stress at in pin at point B. I hope you have now clear understanding about this. Thank you for watching.